Hello, this is Amy, the hybrid administrator for Rudolph the Tall White Alien. We are pleased to share with you these extremely powerful amulets coming from our tall white race tracing back many thousands of years. You will be protected from a myriad of things including disease, harm, and bad luck. Inquire to possess one for your own benefit. Greetings, my human friends. This is Rudolf of Germany, the tall white alien, as most of you already know. Today I would like to talk about the hype of minorities. How small groups of different kind of thinking people can get into the position of terrorizing the vast majority. Now, first, I would like to make sure that I am not against any kind of variation in human thinking. Whatever you believe in and how far out your beliefs are and your lifestyles are, that is completely okay with me. We all in the universe are very unique creatures and have many, many different very personal traits. This said, so you know, I'm very open to all kinds of lifestyles. I would like to explain to you why I'm tired of people who push their beliefs on us. I am tired of it because I always believe that anybody in the world should do what they want to do, but do it in a more discreet and stylish way. Whatever you believe in, made environmentally, sexually, lifestyle-wise, or your gender or race, whatever you believe in is fantastic and okay with me. But please, please listen to me. Don't rub it in my face all day long. I do not want to be in the press, on the street, with people which I encounter, be constantly remind that somebody is a vegetarian, or black, or a woman, or homosexual, or an environmentalist. I know about these things, and you can read up on it once in a while, but I don't want to be reminded every single day of it. Imagine you meet a person who is in his very first impression of himself, a vegetarian. What kind of uh, information is that about a person? If you meet somebody and the very first thing this person says to you, hello, my name is Joe. I am a vegetarian. Who cares? That's all he is. All he eats is eating carrots all day from morning till night, then you can say about somebody, yes, I met a man and his whole life is about eating carrots. And after he is completely exhausted from eating carrots, he will sleep a few hours before he starts eating carrots again. Then I would say, yes, this person is a complete vegetarian or vegan for example. But nobody is like that. People eat maybe some carrots or some sprouts and then they do other things. They go to work as an engineer, as a barkeeper or whatever. Then they have some kind of a family life. Then they have maybe interest in um, collecting postal stamps and, and, and there's so much about a human being besides being a vegetarian. You know, it is so ridiculous that people uh, put themselves in a position to reduce themselves to one particular tiny trait of them. Imagine a child goes 
or a young person goes walking on the street and on the other side of the street they see a person of color. And then they shout across the street, hello, you are black, right? And the person says, yes, I am black. Oh my God, you ask, your ancestry must have been slaves. Yes, they are, or they have been slaves. That's right, I'm a black person and my ancestors have been slaves. Then you must be suffering all day long under that re reality. You must be suffering because your ancestors have been slaves. Yes, I do. I suffer all day long being a black person. I'm completely miserable because my grand, 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 grandmother was a slave. Yeah, but you did never met her. Well, that is true too. But still, it's in my blood, in my genes, this kind of suffering I carry around all day long. <clears throat> so this young person asks, can I come across the street and give you a little contribution of $10? I don't have more in order to compensate for all the suffering you have to go through all day. Sure you can. And it's the same with a homosexual, for example. You see a homosexual walking across uh, the street from you and you call over and say, excuse me, sir, are you homosexual? And the person smiles and says, yes, I am a homosexual. Oh, this is so interesting because I saw the way you are walking <clears throat> and it looks like a dance. It is the most beautiful walk I've ever seen. Yes, it is. And I am homosexual. And this is a most beautiful experience, young man. You should try one day. And the young man across the street screaming over said, yes, that might be a good idea. How does anal sex feel? Oh, anal sex is the greatest thing you can imagine. Just try it and you will enjoy it. Yes, I would like to become a full-time homosexual when I grow up. You know, and the same thing can be going on with uh, environmentalists. You see a person dressed in all kinds of raggedy clothes and you call across the street, are you an environmentalist? And yes, I am. The env environment, the climate is collapsing. In 500 years, there will be one degree less or one degree more of today's climate. Oh my God, yes, and so on, and so on, and so on. People reduce themselves to one particular thing which is foremost in their heads. And that is just a sad state of affairs. Human beings are very complex creatures. And the majority of people do not want to be bothered with small minorities constantly rubbing their personal problems into their heads. I personally are getting tired of all these minority talks, all the minority rules, and that the majority of people who try to make a living to feed their families have to be continuously bothered with some little minority and their petty problems they're dealing with. Rudolf of Germany. <clears throat>